Hi, this is Ali Duran with IBM Business Analytics team. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about another error message that you can potentially see when you have a Planning Analytics workspace implementation. Uh, this error message is related to security and integrated security mode. Um, so on my left hand side on the uh, Planning Analytics workspace navigation tree, you're seeing three different servers. If I go to go scorecards, no problems. I can see all the applications, cubes, dimensions. Future chips plan is the same way. But when I try to go to the first server, CCCT, now unfortunately I cannot access that server. There can be two reasons for that. The, the error message that I'm getting is an unable to fetch, fetch data for content tree and an error message, some API error message that you were seeing and then as well as there's an HTTP status code 401. Now you'd be seeing this error message in two scenarios. One, you're not authenticated or authorized to see the server and number two, um, if your integrated security mode is not set up accurately. Okay, um, so in my case, I'm going to go ahead and check the TM1S configuration file for the server just to make sure that you know, everything is good. But before I go there, I'd like to show you one more thing. Um, with Planning Analytics Workspace, you have the administration tool where you can essentially set up your security. And uh, within the administration tool, there are two modes. You can use a TM1 security or you, uh, you can use a CAM method, yeah, Cognos Authentication Manager uh, uh, Controlled Security. Now, uh, you cannot mis mix match these security modes currently with Planning Analytics Workspace. So that means that you can either work with either of TM1 security or with the CAM security. Uh, in my case, in my scenario, I'm using a CAM authentication method because I have Cognos um, running on my machine as well. And I'm authenticating through Cognos and a namespace called Harmony LDAP. Now, in order to be able to get there, uh, I need to check my TM1S config file for this specific server. And uh, when I go into the server's TM1S config file, I can see that, yes, the server is set up accurate, accurately, but unfortunately, the integrated security mode is set up at uh, 1. So there are a couple things that you can check in here. The first one is the integrated security mode. Of course, with the CAM authentication, I'm using integrated security mode 5. Uh, second thing to check is to make sure your HTTP port number is there as well and, uh, and it's a valid HTTP port number that is not blocked by your firewall. And then the third thing that I would check would be the server cam URI and cl client cam URI settings. These are the exact same settings that you would see in your um, Planning Analytics Workspace uh, administration menu. In this case, I have the server cam URI and client cam URI. These are both accurate settings that I have. Uh, at this point, I can go ahead and save this. And uh, after saving it, uh, normally it doesn't require a restart, but for time's sake, because the server for the server to pick up the new settings, it could take about a minute or so. But for time's sake, uh, I'm going to go ahead and restart the server. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to log out of my server here and then log back in. Okay, as I log back into a workspace, we'll check a couple of things. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new book so that I can see the left hand navigation menu again. So I have the CCCT feature chips plan go scorecards. Again, go scorecards work as usual, feature chips plan works as usual. Remember, we had the 401 error with the CCCT. Now, if I click on that, it opens up as well. Now I have access to all the cubes, dimension, and processes. Uh, this is how you can essentially fix the 401 unauthorized message that you might, you might potentially see based on your security um, issues. Uh, thank you for watching, and let us know if you have any questions.